Hello, um, so really quickly, this is going to be a uh, review of George Washington. Um, this is the David Gordon Green film from uh, 2000, maybe 2001. Um, before I get into the review, I just want to quickly update. Uh, so I, I haven't had the means to watch a movie for a while. Um, I recently upgraded to Blu-ray, finally. Um, but doing so has meant that I was without my iMac for a hot minute. And um, now I'm in TV land, which is all behind you. Um, and speaking of not being, uh, not having an iMac, this video is being recorded on my MacBook Air, which is my work computer. Um, and it has two very tiny little holes over here, one of which is a mic uh, microphone. Um, and so I'm sorry if there's sound issues on this. Um, if there are, I'm going to fix those. I'm going to figure out how to fix those. Um, but you might have to deal with it for this video. Um, on that same note of Blu-ray, uh, I will. there's going to be a Criterion.com sale in September, and I'm going to be upgrading all of my whatever's on DVD and Blu-ray then. But for now, um, uh, I'll just be renting stuff here and there. Um, I have this George Washington review lined up, and I have another film lined up, um, Terrence Malick's Tree of Life which I have had on Blu-ray because the DVD Blu-ray double set was cheaper than the DVD set when I bought it, so. Um, but then I have a couple more movies on the way, and so those will be reviewed shortly. But um, really quickly uh, about George Washington, and I say quickly because I re uh, watched the Hulu Plus version. Um, I don't have the DVD version. Um, I subscribed to Hulu Plus so that I would save some money uh, for the next month just watching movies, um, but I've also got a video store down, uh, video rental store down the street from me, so I'm going to hopefully utilize that soon, but, so, um, George Washington takes place in a sort of small North Carolina town, it was filmed in Winston-Salem, um, so there's a lot of manufacturing plants from, and warehouses from the cigarette company, um, but it's, They've hidden a lot of the downtown sort of urban area from, uh, during the movie. It's mostly a, uh, it's supposed to be reminiscent of sort of a small 10,000 or less, uh, inhabitant town. Um, I live in North Carolina, so they did capture a lot of it correctly, but, um, a lot of that North Carolina life correctly, but, uh. You know, it's it could be anywhere that's that's small and sleepy and warm in the summer months. Um, it uh, it follows a handful of um, sorry if I keep interrupting. There's crickets hopping around. My, one of my screens is broken. Um, it follows four or five maybe uh, young kids, sort of early adolescents, twelve to fifteen, um, and they are. Uh, just kind of figuring themselves out, figuring out life and, and sexuality and romance and things like that, as well as just kind of who they are, um, their place in the world and things like that. The questions that you go trying to find when you're a young kid, but um, I don't want to sort of spoil the, the one of the main premises, but uh, there's basically a tragedy that happens in the town and it, a lot of the story doesn't focus specifically on like a direct response to that tragedy, but um, that tragedy plays a role in, in how the kids are, are going about their lives. And that's one of the cool things about the movie is that the, the tragedy is reacted to definitely like a kid would. It's not like this catastrophic event where people, uh, people break down. It's, it's more of a, um, innocent style, uh, they don't, they don't know how to respond to it, so they just don't really, they kind of keep going about their lives. There's one, um, one sort of monologue in particular where this, one of the kids, uh, criticizes one of the other kids for not really having a human reaction or, or sort of a real response to the tragedy, um, and that kid doesn't know how to take that criticism. Um, there's also an element where one person who was involved in that 
tragedy uh, kind of becomes a hero of sorts, and um, gets sort of acclaim from the town. So that's kind of a cool dichotomy to watch that play out. But um, the plot is really hard to describe this movie, and so I don't want to really spend too much more time on it. But um, just know that it's it's that tragedy element plays a role. I, th- I would recommend reading Roger e- Roger Ebert's review. Um, whether or not you do or do not like Robert, Roger Ebert, the review is great. It's like six paragraphs and um, really succinctly describes the movie without giving away any of the major fun stuff. But the movie takes a lot of hints from Terrence Malick and not in the sort of um, vulgarily derivative way uh, that some people do. It's an illusion or uh, an honoring more than a straight ripoff. Um, the the kid actors are all magnificent. The framing of every shot is wonderful. The uh, sort of atmosphere, I don't want to use the word atmosphere, but the, the sort of texture of the movie is, is really, um, really powerful. I mean, I, I don't, tip, I'm not typically the type of person that responds to a movie by like just sobbing, but this movie really kind of shook me for the entirety of its, its sort of 90 odd minute runtime. Um, I, I did cry through moments and and not for uh, any reasons of like this is a terrible thing that's happening but just because the film would move me either um, it was so like wow that's my childhood or it was like wow that's a really interesting way that these kids are responding to this criticism being somebody who's more I wouldn't say an adult but more in the adult world you know in my mid-twenties than, than these early adolescents are um, but, but yeah, that that's where a lot of this film plays out uh, is in the nuances, in the um, in the not direct plot points, but the kind of the thread that ties those those major plot points together. And um, it, this is such a hard film to talk about, uh, but but know that I really do highly recommend it. Um, that I want you and everyone to watch it. Uh, I recommend it. Uh, unabashedly un unequivocally this is, I mean this has become one of my favorite films of all time um, definitely in some kind of top 10 list uh, it's just it's really challenging to talk about because it deals with things in a very subtle way nothing is is so um, obvious or overstated uh, th- that's a big Malik influence that it isn't force feeding you the story it's it's kind of having you dive into the story and by sort of giving yourself to that story you're also a little bit more vulnerable to its more impacting moments and and yeah so I mean I, I, I don't want to go on too much longer because I'm kind of rambling without saying a whole lot but the movie is strong it's powerful it's emotional it's moving it's uh, very relatable if you had a childhood that was anything but sort of comfortable. Um, I didn't have a, well, I guess, I don't know. I'm not going to get too personal, but you know, my childhood was traumatic enough, traumatic enough where, um, the sadder moments really struck. Um, and so I think if you've had any sort of degree of uncomfortability during your childhood, you're going to connect to this movie in a, in a strong way. And, um, if you like Terrence Malick, you're going to you're going to notice those influences, but notice them in a very, um, you won't get so, like, defensive. You'd be like, wow, you know, Malik was, Malik is this better. Come on, you can do better. No, you're going to say, wow, that was a really clever way of, of nodding to Terrence Malick and saying you were an influence on my filmmaking without um, going so far as to just rip him off. Um, so that's that. I want to keep this under 10 minutes, but uh, again, I've got the Tree of Life review coming once I figure out video and audio stuff with this new computer um i've got um i just finished watching repo man which i rented um and that should be coming shortly i'm working through the special features um and yeah i've got a blu-ray player so i'm working on upgrading all my all my stuff through that now so thanks for watching and and please again feel free to comment keep the dialogue going in in the comments uh comment space but 
Um, yeah, thank you for watching. Subscribe and, and look forward to more videos sooner rather than later. Um, 